Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faye and I make videos all about beauty and lifestyle. If you're back, hi, welcome back. Let's jump right into this video. As you can see, my face is completely flat and uh, by the title of this video, you can probably tell that today we're going to be talking about contour, which is a super popular topic. I mean, ever since, you know, JLo stepped on the scene, Kim Kardashian, um, Kylie Jenner, everyone's been talking about contour. What is contour? There are a billion YouTube videos about it, but this is the only video that you need to watch because I'm going to break it down for your everyday woman, for a woman who wants to contour in her car, for a woman who wants to contour in five minutes, for a woman who wants to use powder, cream. We're gonna talk all about it and cover everything together. So let's jump right into it. I wanted to start it off by showing you the before product rather than after so that you can see the effect as I'm doing it on camera. Um, first, we're going to talk about uh, material, like what do you need to contour, okay? So there are two things that are my personal favorite to use on myself and clients. I leave it up to them, What whatever I ask if it's a client, I ask first, do you want a super, super contoured face? Uh, you know, um, do you want to look like flawless in pictures? And do you care to look contoured in real life a little bit? Or do you want a more subtle contour? You still look pretty, yet in real life, you don't look too cakey. So that's what determines the material. There are two types that I use. One is cream and one is a powder. Now, based on my, my personal experience, I find that these two products, the Smashbox Step-by-Step -Step Contour Stick Crayon, which is this one, okay? It looks something like this. And the Cheek Parade <laughs> uh, palette by Benefit, which I talk about like in every single video. These are the two must-haves for me. Um, if I'm doing a day-to-day, -day, I prefer powder. If I'm going out on the town and I'm going to take lots and lots of pictures, I prefer the stick and then the powder over it. So today, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do the uh, left side, which would probably be your right side. I don't know if the camera flips. Um, on the stick on this side of my face, which is cream contour, and then I'm going to do the uh, powder contour on this side for you guys. Um, so here's the thing, okay? If you clicked on this video and you're like, what is contour? Contour is basically what you do to bring definition to your face. Right now, my face feels flat, especially on camera, which is why a lot of celebrities brought out, like this whole contour frenzy started by Kim Kardashian really shining a light onto it and making it popular because when you, when you look at yourself in a camera and photos with flash photography, flash videography, your features kind of get washed out because of the lighting so the contour is to basically reshape your features your bone structure of your face make certain things smaller your nose contour bring your nose in make it look like it's tipped up a little more basically they call it a, a non-surgical nose job um, so with contour you can reshape you can define your natural beauty you can make your face look thinner by focusing on emphasizing the bones of your face. So that's what the contour is for. Now let's get right into it. I'm going to do cream on this side. This is my stick. You want to uh, make sure that you sharpen it so it has a sharp tip like that. Uh, I'm going to start by my nose because I like my tip super sharp when I do my nose. So when you do your nose, you want to start at the tip of your eyebrow and you want to bring it in. Now, it also depends on what you want your nose to look like. I want my nose to look more narrow, thinner, and tipped up. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to bring the stick in, draw the line towards the inside of my nose so that I leave a little room for, con for highlight. Then I'm going to contour under my nose. This is my favorite because it gives your nose kind of that tipped up 
um, illusion, especially in photos. Now we're going to move on to, you can either start from your chin or start from your forehead. I want to start from top to down. I don't like that my forehead is so large. I mean, it's it's pretty, but, but in photos, it looks too large and too in charge. So I'm going to do my contour kind of try to bring my forehead and in a little bit you can also do this by putting your hair in your forehead i have it out of my face for the purpose of this video so you want to draw lines then you get to your cheek your cheek you want to make sure that you put your hand on your cheek and feel where your natural bone is okay so now you find your natural bone if you want your cheek a little bit higher which is what I like I'm going to draw either exactly on my bone or a little bit higher which is right here right so that's what you want to do especially with cream you don't want to go all the way in because when you blend it out you're able to drag the product in other places so what i like to do is i like to make a little v or a triangle as you can see and the tip of the triangle is going towards my cheek then i do the same thing with my jaw i take my finger and i feel my jaw so you want to draw a line if you want to bring your jaw in you want to draw your line a little bit more towards your face and away from your neck if you want to bring it down you can bring it down it's really up to you and then you get to your chin also with my chin i like to do a little line here okay and um a little line over here okay and then I like to tap, tap, tap and bring some product under. So that is the um, cream side, okay? So these are your lines. Now, the second step for your cream side after you laid all your products down is blending, okay? So now I'm going to start with my nose again since that's what we started with. I have this Luxie um, collaboration with a influencer called JD Wadey. If you see this tip, this tip right here is a little bit tilted. It's better for powder. This tip over here on this side of the brush is better for um cream okay so you can also if you have a palette cream palette you can use this side now i use this side of the tip to blend out the contour that i have already laid out but if i used a palette that has cream contour then i would use the thinner more packed tip to lay it down then the other side to blend it out so i'm going to hold my brush like this from the end and i'm going to start blending out my line with a light hand okay super light hand and down you don't want to take any product off of your nose you want to just blend it out so the whole point of the cream contour is to push the product into your skin with your blending okay you don't want to take any product off all right so then you blend that's my nose now we are going to clean up later with highlight which i will go over after i've done both sides so that's my nose all blended out it may look a little harsh right now but once everything is done it'll make sense now for your cream contour blending there are two types of brushes that you can use there is one that's super packed like this it's very tight bristles and um, this is good to do along the side of your face or you could use a more fluffier blush, brush, blush, brush. I don't know what it is about the word brush. Like I have a hard time saying, especially on camera. So this one you can use. Today I'm gonna use this one because um, with cream contour, it is important to not take away any product. So if you want a more subtle contour, you would use a loose bristle brush. If you want a more a dramatic photography, flash photography type of contour, like red carpet vibes, then you want to use a brush like that's more packed. So now the trick, let me take my hair and take it more out of my face. So the trick is to always blend the contour, um, cream contour or any contour away from your face, okay? That way you bring more definition and you don't take away any product. So we're gonna start on your forehead and we're going to 
push and press push and press away oh my god what is that in my hair i have fuzz everywhere so push and press sorry add kicking in push and press okay and you see it's blending it out yet it's not taking away product it's you still have the product on your face you're going to push and pull away again these are techniques and products that are my personal preference you can use any other brush that you want if you're more comfortable but this I find it works magic so push and away push and away now when you get here please make sure you don't drag down your contour it defeats the whole purpose of lifting your cheek and kind of giving yourself a cheek job so you want to a cheek job <laughs> You want to push and pull up when it comes to your cheeks. So kind of in this motion, push and pull up, push and pull up. Now, remember, we didn't bring any product down here. We're going to just use whatever is left over, kind of make a little smile and go right under our smile and pull up. Oh, there's a bristle coming up. Okay, so that's our cheek. All right, it may look a little sharp right now, but it'll make sense. Your jawline, okay? Now you're gonna, you know how your cheek, you pushed and pulled up. Now you wanna do the, um, kind of like the opposite for your jawline. You wanna push and kind of blend down a little bit because you're trying to make your jaw look thinner. So you want to push and drag down, push and drag down, push, drag down blend onto your neck you can also bring a little over here which is an extreme contour blend out okay and and voila that's our cream side now for cream it is major critical to use powder over it so it doesn't go a bunch of different places and ruin um, get ruined during your event or during your day my powder that i like to use to set my cream contour is the hula original <clears throat> excuse me hoopa hula hoopa hoopa hula original shade so i'm going to dip a brush like this like an angled cheek brush and dab it on there tap the access and i'm just going to go over my contour like that tap access when it comes to your cheek always push up and okay now for your nose we're going to grab the same color with the same brush that we used to blend tap 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 get rid of the excess and kind of tap over your line and set it and forget it now um you want to take your finger and you want to go like that to make sure that your, the reason why I don't do this with a brush because brush has product on it to make sure that your lines aren't so harsh you do the same thing to your nose I like to use my middle finger um, because it's just a better finger to blend with I don't know it's just a habit okay it's worked for me I want to share it with you okay so all of my harsh lines are um, what do you call it blend it out you can also use a fan brush now for the cleaning part okay so for the cleaning part i'm going to use the concealer that i have previously used under my eye which is about one or two shades lighter than my actual skin tone and this is really important guys so for the cleaning part you are going to grab a line for your nose and basically drag it down and lay it next to your line also for your cheek you want to bring it in and you want to shape your cheek kind of give it a little this okay now i like to use the loose br big brush to blend that out you're going over the line a little bit because you don't want it to look so harsh okay then after this step, so now this is like highlighting, but I like to call it cleaning up right now because in this video, I just want to focus on the contour aspect of makeup. So you grab a little bit of setting powder and you go over it. Now when you grab your powder, you can also lessen the line by just 
drawing circular motion on your cheek. Now for your nose, you wanna grab a smaller blending brush like this, and you want to drag it down, 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 away from the line. Then use your middle finger and blend the rest. Now if you do this before your eye makeup, it's a lot easier, okay? Then with the same brush, you're gonna grab some setting powder and you're going to lay it on there. Or you can grab a sponge. I'm using multiple things to show you that you don't have to go out and buy like if you have one thing. So you grab your sponge and you dip it in your setting powder and you basically bring your nose in like that. Then if you want to bake, this is it got a sharp line. Then you go over your line, you set it, and you forget it. So that's our contour. I like to use a little up here too because it's just cute. <laughs> I like I like a highlighted forehead in the middle, not around. So, all right. So we're gonna move on to the powder side because I don't want to keep rambling on and on. The powder side. There are two brushes again that I use. The same brush for my nose, the Luxie JD Weighty brush. Uh, the loose side we're gonna use only, okay? And a fan brush for my face. So do your fan brush, you're going to grab your brush, you're going to grab the same palette, the Cheek Parade, and I like to use the darker shade of Hoola, which is called the Hoola Caramel, for contouring purposes, because it's a darker shade. Again, we set it with the Hoola Original on this side, because we already had the cream contour on that side. So. Listen, the shades are personal, okay? So for you to find the, the contour shade that'll work for your skin tone, you're going to have to try and, and have some trial and error. Uh, what I suggest is play at home at night, be right before you wash your face, and take a flash photos of your face on your iPhone, and that way you can see what tones look funny in photographs, what tones work, or go out in the sunlight. I suggest my personal opinion, do not use anything with a red undertone. I always like to stay ashy, um, like gray undertone for contour, okay? And then you can go over with bronzer and warm it up later. So back to our powder, our, our fan brush, we're going to grab and place it onto the Caramel Hula. We're going to start on your forehead, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing, except with the powder, you wanna tap and go away from your face. Tap and go away. If you go on the other side, it's fine. I'm just trying to blend it all in. Then tap and go away. Same with your temple. You wanna bring it in. I kind of go on, I'm going on the other side to make sure things are even. So for your cheek, you want to tap and move it up. Kind of like smile a little bit too. Oh, this, this hair is like in my way. <laughs> smile, tap, another tap. Listen, grab, it's less is more, especially with contour. You can always put more on, but once you have a lot on, you can't take it off. So make sure you go safe rather than sorry. For your jawline, I like to do this with the powder because it brings everything in and then bring it down. Again, the same thing, okay? And now we're gonna move on to our, uh, whatchamacallit, our nose after, okay? We're gonna move on to our nose and then we're gonna clean it up, same process. So I'm gonna use the Hula Caramel Tap, tap, tap with my JD Weighty Luxie brush. And I'm going to start again from my eyebrow and do a line down my nose. And I'm gonna cover under my nose because I like my nose super tipped up. And drag it up. Now, the, the thing that I like about powder is that there's not that much blending because as you're placing it on your face, you are blending. So you want to just um, have a little rag and take away all the product on your own on the same brush if you don't have another brush and start blending and that's it 
if you bring your contour in more then your nose will look thinner in photography and videography so that's the trick you bring your dark in and then when you put your highlight then it, your nose looks chipped so then you grab your middle finger same thing just blend it out and now we're gonna move on to our cleaning um, I forgot to mention I use the shade light beige because I'm super pale right now I am NOT spray tanning because I'm pregnant as many of you know um, and I'm home because we're under quarantine so what's the point even so we're doing the same process over here for cleaning up. If I were to do my whole face in front of the camera for you guys, I would have dragged just my concealer from, oh my God, what's going on with my eyebrow? I would have just grabbed my concealer from my under my eye and just brought it in, okay? So now another method for blending, I want to do multiple things so you guys will know. Um, I'm gonna use the sponge to blend on this side. I'm going to tuck and blend at the same time which is super difficult then I'm gonna grab the sponge and I'm gonna push the concealer in and kind of bring it into my in between my lips pull it down beautiful with any highlighting or concealing you want to set it so we're gonna grab our setting powder um, I'm going to mention this it's pretty vulgar um, I bought it from Sephora. I love this powder. You're going to grab your sponge and just go like that to give your uh, nose the pinched uh, illusion. I like to do this too because it's just pretty on me. I don't know if you don't like to do it, don't do it. But in photos, that looks fabulous. Then with the tilted, um, the sharp side, this sponge is from Morphe. You can do this with a beauty blender, you can do this with any other bra uh, sponge, and you're going to bring it down, okay? I put a little in between my cheeks. So that is the cleaning up part or the highlighting part, but we're not going to talk about that today. This video is all about contour, okay? So my next trick that I do to bring everything together and to make you look more bronzed is I grab the same fan brush that I used the on the powder side and I start taking away my bake with that fan brush in circular motion on my nose start taking away on my nose too okay so this kind of brings some bronzer and takes away the harsh lines just go, don't be scared because you didn't put any product on there. You're just going over it with whatever's left over, okay? Now, for the highlighting part, I'm going to grab my middle finger and the cookie shade on my Cheek Parade palette. And the reason why I grab my middle finger is that it's more controlled when it comes to your nose. So what I like to do is I like to tap the highlight on the tip of my nose like that then grab another finger and blend it out then drag a line down the middle super subtle it's important where you lay your highlights because um, that's what the flash camera will pick up so it's super important to lay it down exactly where you want the light to hit when you do flash photography or just you know when you want your nose okay so then I clean it up a little bit with my brush and that's it for my cheek highlight I like to grab a brush blush and I like to go in and make a cocktail of these two shades the cookie highlighter and the blush grab it kind of make a cocktail and go from my cheek up my cheekbone like that on both sides okay then I grab and tap the middle and much for sticking around and learning about contour with me sorry my camera cut out before so as I was finishing on my highlight I just wanted to say I like to put a little more up here and down here and that's all I missed um, for you guys before my camera died but anyway so this is the final result thinner nose more shaped face um, super flattering on photography and videography especially flash and just a better 
version of myself, which is we all want to look like ourselves, but a more better put together version. You guys, you can do this. Uh, just practice. Pick the right color. Listen, you don't need the exact tools that I used. Just pick the tools that do similar things like this Luxie brush that's got the tilted head. You can also use an eye um, brush that's similar. That's $3 on Morphe.com. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy the same products. Uh, for the actual contour product, I do recommend quality. If you want to wear it for a long period of time, like a wedding or a party and you want it to stay, but you can use bronzers from the drugstore and make anything work. Listen, as long as you got the skills and you uh, watch tutorials like this one, you can do anything you put your mind to. Practice, wash your face, practice again, take pictures, practice again. Practice makes perfect with anything, especially with makeup. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll be back with more videos. Bye guys.